What up? Did you guys see that? You guys saw what happened? I came from under. Before I embarrass myself anymore with horrible introductory jokes, let's just play the game. Oh. Am I awakening? Am I on... Where am I? What? I don't know which way to turn my head. December 1941. Oh, well. Go ahead. Get up. <laughs> Here I am. Whoa. Perfect. Where is everyone? I don't know. But what I do know is that this game is apparently based in World War II. From what I understand, a gun. I can't pick it up. That's never a good sign. Never a good sign. So I've played a few games by this dev before and they've all been pretty good. This one looked pretty interesting as well. I don't know if I'm... What? I must check the ground floor first. You're blocking me from... Fine. I gotcha, I gotcha. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Because why wouldn't I want to leave this hellish ground floor area and go up to higher ground where I have a better vantage point? Oh, inspect the hatch. This must be the way where my comrade went. Okay. But how can I open it? It's a good question. Maybe some kind of crowbar? I'm sure there's a crowbar lying around somewhere over here. It's gotta be somewhere. <laughs> Look, all right, my commentary is a work in progress, all right? Hey, I'm welcome up here now. Cool, perfect. Uh, I don't know the design of this. I'm not sure uh, how I feel about it. What just happened? I don't know, but I'm going to go this way. This war does not determine who is right. Only who is left. Ah, uh, note. This is strange. The sounds of gun firing and people yelling have been replaced by silence. There's something wrong. It just became quiet. Okay, so there's some pretty solid writing here. Not gonna lie. A little more than what I, uh, what I'm used to. Whoa, what? What just happened? Did we win? Is it over? You know, something tells me that maybe we, maybe we won. Okay, maybe we won. Maybe we didn't. But all I know is that it's not over, because I pretty much just started the game. What was that? Who's playing the violin over there? I'm going over here to see. This has never led to a problem in my life playing an indie horror game. Going to inspect the area where I heard a noise. Ooh. Something about this, though. Ooh, something about this. I like the level design here. But my flashlight... My flashlight ain't the greatest. Gotta say that much. Whew. Oh. What? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Are you gone? I think it's gone. Dude, this is a bad idea. This is a horrible, horrible idea. It is so dark. It is so disgustingly dark. What? Okay, I'm hearing like heavy breathing. Ooh. Okay, this is this has gotten quite a bit spookier. But it just led me down here. What? What was the point? Do I gotta drop down? Oh, there's a staircase right here. Duh. Why is it so dark? It's not fair. This is making me hella nervous, man. There are too many different directions to go. Which, oh, I need to check the other room first. Okay, thank you for blocking me off. At least, at least you're giving me some sense of- Ah! Oh, fuck! This is against my best interests, but I'm at a dead end, so I'm fine. Let's just go. Let's go, dude. Come on. Ooh, he didn't have to do me like that, man. That wasn't fair. I was kind of ready for it, but I didn't know when it was going to happen, so that's half the scariness. War is just a massacre of people who don't know each other. Yeah, it's never good. In my opinion, war is never a good thing. Oh, oh, it's well lit. Okay. You know, that was just a loading screen, I thought. <laughs> I thought that my commentary just like perfectly lined up with something bad happening. A bomb. Time bomb? Oh shit. Does that mean I have to get going? Oh god. Okay. Well, my visibility is terrible in this game. What the hell is that? I don't want to stick around and find out. 
Oh! Is it right the... Oh! oh my god, go, go, go! Go! Oh, okay, we're good. We're, we're good. Ah! All right, this time around, I just move. I just go. Don't even stop. Don't even look behind. I got a good enough look at that monster as it was. I'm just out of here, bro. I'm leaving. This ain't cool. Okay, dude, it is way too fast because it's right behind me already. Just go, 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 just go. Keep it moving. Keep it grooving. I'm sure it's not as close as it was before. Come on, come on, come on. What? Go, go, go. Oh, shit. Keep it going. Oh, my God. Ooh, this is actually fucking terrifying, man. Get moving. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't remember where I need to be going. Okay, is it still there? I think it's still there. I think it's still behind me. As long as I don't... Whoa. Oh, okay. I'm going to keep it moving. Couldn't that other monster stay and protect me? <laughs> that would make me feel a lot better, dude. Okay, okay. Down or up? Down or up? Down? Down. Down. Keep going down, right? It was this way, correct? I gotta put this bomb on there. Okay, I think I lost it. Whew. Put it on, put it on, put it on. Put it on. Finally. Escaped. Is that it? Comrade, wake up. Comrade. Oh. Where am I? Was it all just a dream? What are you saying? You got unconscious. Look, we're winning. Winning? Whoa. Yes, the enemies are retreating. Let's go. I'm excited to go home and see my wife. Oh, God. That. Okay, well, they died. They died. Only the dead have seen the end of war. I like it. I like it. It wasn't the most extravagant and like flashy thing, but it did the trick and it did the trick really well. That was actually terrifying, man. I will say the game felt a little bit rigid in some ways. I think having maybe a little bit more like head movement and just more of a feeling that the character that you're controlling is a living being might help with the immersion of the game because as it stands it has that little bit of a feeling of like a camera on wheels that you get from a lot of indie horror games but for what it is man i gotta say this really scared me the level design is great and the fact that you can barely see like five feet in front of you makes traversing through the darker areas a lot more terrifying i do also like how the story unfolded it was just kind of like a, a hallucination or a dream by somebody who was actually fighting a war. There've been a few games that deal with this kind of thing. And while the other ones are by bigger studios and a little more involved, I do like the approach that this took. It's really nice to see like a small indie dev studio doing stuff like this and kind of going out of their comfort zone. Because again, I've played a couple of games by this dev before. And while they were good, they didn't feel like they had this much weight to them, I think. But yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. I really enjoyed playing this. And if you guys wanna try this out for yourselves, it was totally free on itch.io. I'll be sure to leave the link down below in the description. Otherwise, that's it for me today. Thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate you all for being here and for showing me your support every single day. If you happen to enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Make sure to leave me a little comment. Let me know how you feel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what I'm doing here, consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. Once again, I thank you all so much for watching this video. And I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take it easy.